and right. Um, if I can kind of just draw up just from what you've told me so far, if I were to do this, if we've got this map, and I'm going to have the different qu four quadrants with feelings, thoughts about self, behaviors, and then physiology. And just from what I understand so far is what you're, you were feeling, um, uh, would, would panic be too strong of a word or um, just heightened anxiety? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so high anxiety. Any other feelings? So when you're driving just in general um, that come up for you? Um, yeah, just being really anxious and feeling like I can't, I can't do it. Okay. I, I guess that'd be more of a thought. Yeah, well, which is our next step. So it's kind of like when you're feeling that anxiety when you're driving, mm -hmm. um, the thoughts that you have about yourself, one of them is, hey, I can't do this. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts about um, self? Yeah, I feel like I could possibly have an accident. Okay. So you, there's the actual thought is that I could have an accident here. Yeah, like okay. a, I could hit that car. Or like I can kind of imagine hitting someone. <laughs> and that affects your behavior in what way? Um, well, that one time it made me stop <laughs> what I was doing. Okay. Um, so actually stop and, and didn't merge, but stopped in, in a mm -hmm. highway or... Yeah, it was, it was on a merging lane, and I just kind of stopped in the corner oh, okay. as it was running out. Okay. okay. Um, and now it's affecting you in, in what way? So you have had this one incident where you actually did stop, and it took you mm -hmm. a while to kind of regain composure. And, right. Yeah. So now I just slow down and try to take notice of, like, who is in which lane and, yeah, make sure I get over in time. The next thing, so we've looked at the feeling anxious and then thinking, well, I can't do this, I could have an accident. Um, the one time where you stop, but just the feeling of discomfort. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm curious, the next part of this would be kind of the physiological reaction that you may be experiencing when you're in the car. What do you notice? Um, I don't know, I just... I guess my palms get like sweaty and I just feel kind of like nauseous sometimes. Okay. So you get sweaty palms and feeling nauseous. Okay. Okay. okay, so if we were to look at what we've got here, and we're just trying to kind of encapsulate a little bit to make, give some idea of uh, how this all might work together. And the feeling is this anxiety, specifically while driving. The thought is I can't do this, I could have an accident. Behavior is um, you did have one instant where you stopped, but you also you feel like it, that you kind of slow down and, and maybe even mm -hmm. even though it's probably not a bad idea to be a defensive driver, it's sounding that you're pretty hyper cautious out there. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay. And then what this leads to is this physiological reaction of feeling sweaty and nauseous and what have you. Okay. Okay. Well, if you were to label that map, what would you? Maybe like nervous driving. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll go with that. Nervous driving. Okay. Now the next step of this, and remember that we are still going to spend some time talking about kind of the things that you've experienced and all that, but we do kind of want to begin with the end in mind, and let's look at, because I'm hopeful that we're going to get you to a spot where you're more comfortable. You might not be ever be com totally comfortable, but more comfortable. And um, so this is kind of our goal map. Okay, it's where we want to be when we're done counseling. And um, I suspect, and so we're going to look at the exact same quadrants here. So we'll know counseling's been successful, that when you're driving, you're feeling what? Um, calm, relaxed. Okay. Confident. Okay. And I'm going to put calmer. Okay. Okay, so it might not be a total sense of calm like if we're at the spa mm -hmm. or <laughs> getting a massage, <laughs> because there is there probably is some need to be a little tense when we're driving, yeah. not the hyper-cautiousness that you're experiencing the anxiety, but more confidence, so increased confidence. Mm -hmm. okay. 
increased uh, relaxation. And if you're experienced, if you're feeling calm or if you're feeling more confident and, and more relaxed, uh, what kind of thoughts would you be having? Um, and particularly thoughts about yourself. Yeah. That I am a better driver, that I'm able to, to like merge over and to drive in lots of traffic without um, feeling so nervous. Okay. That I am able to uh, drive in a lot of traffic and, and do the functions I need to do without excessive nervousness. That is that kind of mm -hmm. summarize what you okay. yeah. One of our homework assignments will get you out on the uh, Atlanta freeways, <laughs> <laughs> Mer merging on and off. Okay, yeah. that be, be a flooding experience. Okay. <laughs> so I am um, I'm able to drive in excessive traffic and feel confident to, to perform what I need to. Mm -hmm. And so if you're feeling calmer and you're saying to yourself, hey, I'm able to do this, I'm able to drive in here and do what I need to do, um, how, how is that going to affect your behavior? Um, well, I'll be able to, to keep driving regularly without it affecting. Okay. So not quite as not quite as uh, hyper cautious, right? So, so, so. And then that would affect your physiology in what way? Um, what you're experiencing in your body? Yeah, just feeling or um, not having like the nauseous feeling and sure. um, yeah, just being like normal, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure what normal is, <laughs> yeah. so I'm not. I don't use that word much. I know I'm not normal, but what I, <laughs> what we maybe what what I am getting a sense of it'd be more comfortable if it was if there was less sweaty palm. There might be some, and there might be some occasions, but but mm -hmm. less of that, and then less nauseousness, and um, and it would be wonderful if we can just eliminate, which we'll get work to, but decreasing those two uncomfortable. Okay, so this is kind of the goal map here and what I'm wondering is where what would be a first step uh, for you what would be a small step you could take between now and next session that would help you towards this goal um, just trying to change my thought patterns I think. okay okay what would be um, a first step with that what could you do with the, you've got these thoughts here, I can't do this, I could have an accident. What, what might be something? Um, I think like positive visualization would work well for me. Okay. So even while you're driving, or would this be before or, or maybe both? both? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what visualization, what would you use? Um, just like visualizing myself um, doing those actions like moving over in lanes and uh, merging into a lot of traffic and being successful at it. Okay, okay. So actually practicing some visualization. And then it sounds like that might be a first step for us in the session is to actually, would that help you think? Maybe if I ask you to close your eyes and then visualize it and then you can actually give me some indication of the d level of distress you're experiencing just visualizing it. Mm -hmm. And then what we could do is uh, maybe go through a little relaxation. And in fact, that, that might be our first step is, is kind of practice a little quick relaxation, things that you can do fairly quickly, uh, and then go through a visualization. Do you have any types of relaxations that work for you? Anything in particular that... Um, like deep breathing. Does it? And, okay. Um, praying. Praying? Okay, mm -hmm. good. So those are things that we, we can look at. And you know, another thing I want to talk about, another small step is, uh, maybe put 1A here, since we're going to have plenty of time left, is, is let's talk about um, some of these incidents. It's like your close call, or in, in when your brother, what you felt and experienced when your brother had his accidents. So I think talking about that in the session could be a win. Okay, I'm going to give you a copy of this. I'll make a copy for myself so that, so that I know where we're wanting to go.